everyone, it's Linda again, and welcome back to my channel. The YouTube API has a rather useful endpoint, which just so happens to be a public endpoint, which means that we can use an API key in order to read from it. The endpoint I'm talking about is the video's list endpoint. This endpoint allows us to list public videos on YouTube, and one of the most interesting things that I find that you can use it for is to list the most popular videos by country. In this video, we're going to go through how to create an API key for the YouTube API, and then we're going to go through the code needed in order to use the videos list method to list the most popular videos from several countries. In order to access public API endpoints, you need an API key. An API key simply identifies your application to Google so that they know who is accessing their API. To create an API key, you go to Google Cloud Console. Create a new project if you don't already have one. Then go to Credentials and click Create API Key. Simply copy the key. You'll need it in your code that we're going to do shortly. Remember, never share your API key with anyone. This identifies your application. And if anything happens, it is your account that is going to be banned and not somebody else's because they copied your key. Remember to go to Library and enable the YouTube Data API. And that's it. It should now work. Google has been kind enough to release client libraries that we can use in order to access their APIs. They have released these libraries in a lot of different languages. And lucky for us, they have also released it for .NET and C Sharp. The first thing I'm going to do is include the NuGet package into my project for the YouTube API. This will give me all of the methods that I need in order to access the YouTube API through my .NET project. The way Google has built this library is that all calls to an API must go through a service. So before you can use an API, you need to configure a service for that API. One of the things that needs to be configured in a service is the authorization. In our case, we will be using an API key and we're calling the YouTube API. So we need to create a YouTube service and pass it the API key or configure it with the API key. Any calls that are sent to the YouTube API using this service will automatically include the API key. We won't need to concern ourselves with it again. This service will handle all of that for us. Once we've configured our service, we can then use it by building up a request. We use the service by calling service videos list and then pass it snippet. Snippet is a required field for the videos list method. It basically tells it what kind of information we would like to see back. In our case, we just need the snippet information. I'm also passing it the chart parameter by sending it an enum called most popular because I would like to see the most popular videos returned. Then as the last parameter, which is not required, I am going to pass it a region code. I'm passing it region code because I want to be able to show you how region codes work and return 
videos for different languages so that we can show that the German videos will return different videos than the region code for the United States. If you do not include a region code, then it defaults to US, which is the United States. Once we've built up our request, we can then call request execute async, which will make the request to the API. Remember, I'm not passing the API key here. Service is handling that for me as part of the request that we already built up. Now that I have built up my request and sent it to Google, I should get a response back. I'm just going to double check that my response is not zero. Then I am going to loop through each one of the items or videos returned. Notice how I am writing out the snippet title because that's where the title exists in the response. And then here's a little trick for you. The video ID returned in the response is actually the video ID of a video up on YouTube, which means you can build up the actual link quite simply. So that's it. That's all we needed to do in order to get the most popular videos back using an API key. Now you can change the region, as I mentioned before, and you will be able to see the different videos for each region. You may be wondering how to get back a list of the most popular videos across the planet. Unfortunately, that method is not technically available. However, there's no reason that you could not make this call by country for every country on the planet. But if you consider the fact that the United States probably has a large number of YouTube viewers compared to the other countries on the planet, it's reasonable to assume that if you requested the most popular videos in the United States, you'd probably get a pretty good estimation of the most popular videos on the planet due to the amount of YouTube viewers in the United States. In my experience, looking at other countries' more popular videos, they tend to be po most popular videos based upon their language. For example, the most popular videos for Germany are, are in German. So if you're actually looking for the most popular video across YouTube completely, I suggest looking at maybe the United States and China. You could potentially do them all. It depends on how much quota you have in your project. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you see how easy it is to find the most popular videos on YouTube using the YouTube API and an API key. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, please consider giving it a like. It helps me to know which videos you enjoyed and which ones you'd like to see more of. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps me to know that I'm doing a good job here and I'm actually helping people. And as always, I hope you have a really great day.